Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast, lesson 11-9, dividing whole numbers by unit fractions. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by Cesar Chavez, who was born near Yuma, Arizona. So he's kind of a hero. Well, he's absolutely a hero in Arizona. Um, we'll be learning more about him tonight, too, as we learn about dividing fractions. He said, students must have initiative. They should not be mere imitators. They must learn to think and act for themselves and be free. And that's so important in math. I can show you how to do things, but sometimes you may come up with problem solving methods that are even better than what I would do. And if you only imitate what I do, then you're not using all of that potential that you have to develop something that might be quite a bit better. So this is my, my lecture on don't be afraid to take risks to solve problems. Our learning goal tonight is to divide whole numbers by fractions. There's a picture of Cesar Chavez in the fields with some grapes. He um, was the son of migrant workers who they all worked in the fields and migrant workers quite frequently were taken advantage of and they didn't get paid very well. And so when Cesar Chavez grew up, he um, organized a union for farm workers and he led people in peaceful protests so that um, they could get paid higher wages and he thought it was just as important that you led non-violent protests and peaceful protests as that you presented your cause so i thought he did some really great things he also he protested so that grape that people who harvested grapes and lettuce would get um better wages and then later he even did some hunger protests where he would fast he would quit eating so that um they would quit using pesticides on the foods in the 1980s which probably helped all of us and helped our health. So um, he's really someone worth looking up and learning more about. Here are our individual lesson learning goals. First of all, to find the re reciprocal of a fraction. That's when you flip it, flip the numerator and denominator. Always use the reciprocal of the amount by which you are dividing. If we were doing a regular division problem, this would be the divisor, the number going into the amount or the amount of, that you're dividing it into. Represent a whole number as a fraction. Remember the whole number three can be represented by three over one. Multiply two fractions together and convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. That's important and then simplify when you've done that. Our vocabulary for tonight is fraction. That's an old vocabulary term. Remember that means an amount greater than zero and less than one. So it's within a pretty small space. A mixed number, which is a whole number and a fraction, and a reciprocal, which is two fractions whose product is one. So for example, the reciprocal of one fourth is four over one, which when you multiply them, one times four is four, and four times one is four, and four divided by four is one. So you can see that pattern there. To find the reciprocal, flip the numerator and the denominator. There's some really cool pictures of Cesar Chavez and some of his nonviolent protests. He was successful in helping them out, so it was pretty cool. Here's our first example, three divided by one fourth. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how we do that. So I've written our problem, three divided by one fourth, and you know that division is the opposite of multiplication. So the really cool thing is, is that we can use multiplication to actually solve this problem. We're going to write our whole number as a fraction first. So we'll write 3 over 1, and then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 1 fourth, which means that I flip 1 fourth so that the denominator is the numerator and the numerator is the denominator. Now I just multiply like a regular fraction multiplication problem. 3 times 4 is 12. 1 times 1 is 1, and we know that's an improper fraction. So 12 divided by 1 equals the whole number 12. Now let's look and see how we did that. If we know we're dividing into fourths, then we're going to take our whole number 3 and divide it into fourths. So I'm going to divide each of those pizzas into four parts. How many pieces that are one fourth of the pie do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So three divided into fourths is going to equal twelve. Okay. Number one, four divided by one half. Go back to that example that we just did. 
look and see exactly how we did it, you can kind of imitate that. You don't have to come up with something new this time. Pause it and push play when you've worked the problem and found the answer. Did you write eight? Let's see how we did that. So four divided by one half can be rewritten as four over one times the reciprocal of one half, which is two over one, and multiply straight across. Four times two is eight. One times one is one. And that's an improper fraction, so eight divided by one is the whole number eight. So let's look at the model of how that's done. If we have four whole shapes and we divide each of them in half, how many halves do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it works. Number two, six divided by one eighth. Pause it and push play when you finish. Did you write 48? Let's work that one. Six divided by one eighth can be written, rewritten as six over one times the reciprocal of one eighth, which is eight over one. And now we multiply. Six times eight is 48. One times one is one. Improper fraction. So 48 divided by one is the whole number 48. If we divide each of these six holes into eights, This could take a while. I hope you're doing it with me so that you have a model for each problem on your paper in your journal to keep forever. Now I can count how many groups of eight I have. There's eight in each one and eight times six is 48. Number three, nine divided by one third. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 27? Let's work that one together. Okay, so we can rewrite the whole number nine as nine over one, and then we're going to multiply, which is the opposite of dividing, and we're going to find the reciprocal of one third, which is three over one. Nine times three is 27, and one times one is one, which is an improper fraction. So 27 divided by one is the whole number 27. If I took nine shapes and divided each of them into three parts, I would have nine times three is 27. It's time to challenge yourself. Before you do, if you want to read more about Cesar Chavez, read Harvesting Hope. It's his story and it'll give you a lot of really cool information about him. Now, work the problem three eighths divided by five sixths. Then when you figured out the answer, Explain what happens when you divide a smaller fraction by a larger fraction. What's the result? I'll give you a hint. It's the same result every time. Show your work and explain your answer in your flip journal. Come to school ready to check that answer. Finishing up, go ahead and write down if you are at a level one, two, or three in your learning. One, I need a lot of help. Two, I've almost got it. Three, I've mastered it. Write any questions down in your flip journal and be ready to ask them tomorrow in class. Dynamo Division, you've completed lesson 11-9, divide whole numbers by unit fractions. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.